When Autodesk decided to release a version of AutoCAD specifically for the Mac, we wanted to do it right. That's why AutoCAD 2012 for Mac wasn't just ported from the Windows version. It was completely rewritten from the ground up with the Mac user in mind every step of the way. But we also wanted to make it very familiar to those of you who've used AutoCAD on the Windows platform. Some elements from the Windows user interface are almost identical on the Mac OS. The command line, status bar, and layer and properties palettes are practically the same on each platform. The in-canvas experience is the same too. Dynamic input, grips, the in-canvas viewport controls, and the view cube all function exactly the same way. One major difference between the two platforms is that AutoCAD for Mac doesn't have a ribbon. Instead, commands can be found in the menu bar and tool sets, or on context-sensitive visors like this one for hatch objects. AutoCAD for Mac also includes the dynamic help search function common to many Mac programs. Simply hover over an item in the list of search results to see its location in the menu bar. If you're using a magic mouse or trackpad, you'll be glad to know that multi-touch gestures are supported in AutoCAD for Mac. Use a two-finger pinch to zoom in and out of your drawing, or a two-finger swipe to pan. Add the shift key to the swipe to orbit around a 3D model. Despite its unique code base, AutoCAD for Mac is still a completely integrated part of the AutoCAD family. The DWG files it creates are fully compatible with AutoCAD 2012, as well as with other products like AutoCAD LT, AutoCAD WS, and industry-specific software like AutoCAD Architecture.